Now here's a good reason to give away your kitchen utensils if you don't need them, all for the sake of some interesting art. And the transformation is phenomenal, unexpected and mostly over the top. We at Hunar TV want you to sit back, relax and experience the art of Subodh Gupta. Subodh Gupta is a mold-breaking artist without doubt and he's taken the world by storm. He's been practicing art for the past two decades or so and the world's richy rich have been bitten by the Subodh Gupta bug. You name it, business tycoons such as Charles Saatchi or François Pena, they've all collected his works. Very few people can actually imagine what it takes installing these works. Whenever I go to his studio, it reminds me of an industrial workshop. Fixing up the utensils together, how the work is lifted and hung up. Large, large works which actually requires hard labour. So we at Honor TV are actually really proud to get you this behind the scenes experience which is really, really very unique. His art is not predictable at all. If you see uh, the different works that he's created using the same uh, uh, you know, medium, if you see the look at the spill, which you call the, the ray of light, the spill, you know, or if you look at the, the, the colossal mushroom uh, like work, which is a line of control at a museum in Delhi. If you look at that, if you look at the banyan tree that denotes strength and, you know, magnanimity, they're all diverse uh, installations and very, very diverse from each other. Artists of his caliber uh, can never be predictable. He will be creating, I think, sure he'll surprise us with with a, with a new uh, work, new comment every year within his signature style. So both paints as well, of course. He does these photorealistic paintings of, yes, utensils and food as well. But his installations are a completely different ballgame altogether. Utensils for him are what paint, brushes and canvas are for other artists. So utensils is completely the soul of his art. When I'm shooting your shows in different galleries, it is only you when you are showing in a gallery that I, I get very honest re reactions from someone who is the security guard there, from someone who is cleaning the floor, someone who is the sweeper. They are the ones who first time I've noticed who react to your art. Otherwise, the other shows that are on of a few other artists, they, they don't react to it, they don't relate to it. But I get very funny responses. There's once the security guard told me that I have to remove all the burdens of my house. So, what is your personal experience of the most interesting response that you've got? Well, the most interesting remark was uh, uh, one guard said that this is your own show. Hai. Wow. So, uh, so I, I, can't, I don't know how to react to that. And, but uh, it was really uh, moving for me. And it's really, honestly, give me great pleasure. It's a great pleasure give me huge satisfaction. Mm. Uh, 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 I'm able to touch the people who are very normal people. I can have a dialogue with the all kind of uh, 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 stages of the people right through my art. Yeah. And that's my aim as well. Mm -hmm. But also, I do believe that this is only happening because I'm coming from there. Okay. So my eyes, my perspective, mm -hmm. always I look at it from that eye. Okay. So uh, how even but I create where, my where art? Where do you think you're coming from? How do you look at yourself? Like I'm coming from the normal uh, uh, middle class family yeah. and coming from the small town. Uh, and uh, how my upbringing is not very, uh, I studied in railway school. Yeah. So normal family, no day to day working family. Mm -hmm. So it's not like I'm trying to say, okay, so in that crowd where the India exists, Mm -hmm. So I'm coming from that crowd. Okay. So I'm coming one of those uh, 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 bachaj. Uh, so right. in that perspective, if you look at something, mm -hmm. automatically every uh, 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 color of canvas is different. Uh, uh, different and look at in that angle, no? 
Okay. Uh, and that's why I think it's very important. You think uh, people, gallerists and uh, critics and all, they try to over glamorize of where you've come from and where you've reached at an international level. They try to over glamorize uh, 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 that entire uh, uh, journey. Uh, uh, my gallery never do that for sure. It's mm. the nostalgia with, within the people who think like that. Uh, mm. uh, Catalogs. No, no. Christie's. Yeah. Right. Uh, uh, I can't stop everybody. You know, he has found an art language that references India, but can, it can be comprehended by the global audience. It is readable by the people from all over the world. It's very clear that his art is inspired from his childhood, his hometown, which is in the state of Bihar in India. It's inspired from his own upbringing in a middle class family. So these elements that you see in his art are actually symbolic of middle class India. But it's his eye for the ordinary that sets his work apart from the rest. These objects such as milk buckets, cow dung, kitchen utensils, they form the focus of his work. I find this particular work of Sabod's really poignant. He made this a few years ago, but it's entirely dedicated to the cycle rickshaw puller. It's, it's obviously about a person who's struggling to make ends meet. And uh, these brass pots, these brass lotas is actually symbolic of a wealthier lot who are actually his customers. But at the end of the day, all that the cycle rickshaw puller can afford to have is cheap rice. That's all he can afford to eat. And that's the title of this work. It's mostly about reflecting middle-class India. You have lunch tiffins that are packed with love, taken to the fields every day, the food that is enjoyed after a hard day of labor, the milk jars that get filled every morning after the milkman makes an early start from his farm, the thali, which is the circular tray. It holds flowers, it holds food, which is offered to the deity in prayer, and the buckets which store food grain. So both is a huge fan of old, classic, Persian as well as Urdu poetry. So I'm actually not really surprised that this work of his is inspired by the works of the 13th century poet Jalaluddin Rumi. So what you see here is a long 20 meters traditional fishing boat which people use in Kerala. And so both here is talking about the microcosm. And this is about one person's existence crammed together in this long, narrow space. Scale is something that you just can't beat Subodh and he's always thinking big. Actually, I'm quite disappointed that he still hasn't thought of having an installation up on the moon. It's something like I would like to have an installation on the moon or I would like to go to Mars and install it. I mean, people are already thinking of space travel. So you could think of having an installation on the moon. Uh, well, I, I don't think something like that, yes. <laughs> okay. yeah. but, but something that you feel that you have in your mind that should be created and you're still wanting it to be created. You keep doing your work. It's not like something, yes. And every piece of artwork you think is going to be best. But it's very hard. It's not easy. Art is really, really tough work. Yeah. It's a huge task. For me itself is tough what I'm trying to say. Yeah. People, if you want to, what Subodh is going to do next, yeah. uh, uh, expectation. Yeah. Uh, 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 it's my expectation, mm -hmm. what I'm trying to say. So even my expectation doesn't come to true. Making something is easy, but making something good is very tough. How something do you manage that isolation? I don't wish I could do. Yeah, I will that's make, what I, I I will make better art, I believe, uh, if, wow. I, if I do that. We are just we are right now having a very major show in conjunction with the architecture Binale at Venice. It's a, one of the biggest Indian art shows. There we have a very striking work by Subodh Gupta, which is called the Black Think. And the Black Think is made of those chimtas from our, the black chimtas that we make to, uh, use to make Indian bread, the rotis. And from that he has created an abstract flower. So when you, once you look from a distance you see what is it man and when you move closer it's so many chimtas create a beautiful massive installation which is like every day uh, in Venice we had a huge footfall and they were admiring that work to a great extent. Subodh is one of the busiest artists I know. It's just so difficult to catch him in town. He's either flying away to Zurich for a show, he's installing something in Sydney, he's having a meeting in Italy. Do you ever suffer from creative fatigue? Like, 
you reach a point where you're tired because I know the kind of schedule you have. You're constantly traveling. You have no. When you're tired, you can't think about art. Yes, I do get tired, and then. So, but then, how do you manage? Then I leave it. Then I don't care about it. Then, then, then I don't think about art. So, so there is a, also the phase come in your mind, no? So like a chocolate block, mindly chocolate block, and you can't even think even you wanted to think, yeah. no? So you can't. So, so it's like a barrier of creativity is closed, mm -hmm. uh, and sometimes mind told you, okay, just don't think about it. So I have to leave it. I don't think about it. It's like, just say, the mind में भूसा नहीं समा जाता. It's like that. So it's okay. like your mind is totally blocked, okay. uh, and you not even thinking. And uh, yeah, and sometimes uh, period come, it's like uh, it's open, and uh, and then better to interview that time, and that time you should not leave it. Mm -hmm. you, you knock, 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 knock. <laughs> yeah, but uh, how do you deal with deadlines there? For 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 your nature of profession, which is uh, very creative, uh, now, how do you deal uh, with deadlines? Yes, uh, now, Sharp uh, deadlines. Uh, now, uh, nothing I commit in two months or three months unless okay. we have a year time. Okay. Yeah, so we have to have a year time to create something. <laughs>